All right, Lions Packers has been flexed into Sunday night football at Lambeau. And <clears throat> excuse me, and we will know going into that game whether or not it's it's winner gets in or if Seattle loses. Uh, if Seattle wins, excuse me, then we're going to try to prevent Green Bay to from getting into the playoffs. Either way, we want to win that game. And the reason is either we go to the playoffs if, if the Seahawks lose or we, we stop Aaron Rodgers because he's had a lot to say, little subtle jabs, I guess, at the Lions uh, over the years, but especially this year. And in some ways you think, well, you know what? He's kind of owned owned us. Well, He's 18 and seven against us in his career. So I thought maybe it'd be a little bit better than that. Still very good. But this year he said a few things during uh, the season. That's like, all right. So just in case you forgot our team, our players are definitely remembering this. Uh, So James Houston, who has earned the right to talk a little bit and say what he thinks. He says that, yes, Aaron Rodgers was talking a little smack. And when someone talks smack, you just lock that up in the back of your brain and save that for Sunday. It's right there in the back of my head. So that just gives me uh, goosebumps because thinking of our guy, James Houston, coming around the corner, going after Aaron Rodgers because Aaron Rodgers did not see James Houston uh, the first time around. He was not playing in that game. So James Houston's ready to go, and I love that because if, if we've seen anything from James Houston, it's that he surprises quarterbacks with his speed. He did it with Justin Fields. Remember when he dropped back in coverage, Justin Fields like, ah, looking, looking, bang, got him. Justin Fields scrambling a little bit. James Houston comes from behind and forces a fumble. He did it with Josh Allen. Josh Allen kind of ran away a couple times, and James Houston gets him. He's faster, more explosive than you think. He closes that last five yards a lot faster than you think. So James Houston's ready. So I love that. And when he's talking about what he was talking, yeah, you know, the smack he was talking about. Remember, it goes back to week nine when Rodgers threw a tantrum while playing the worst game of his career in Detroit. So remember, we're one in six. It's like, oh my gosh, Rodgers is coming to town and we we play great. Shut him out, or not shut him out, but just really slow him down and throws interceptions left and right. And he says in that game, we can't lose a game like that. Remember, for them, it was almost like a must win. They were struggling at that time against that team so that's going to hurt for a while clearly what he's talking about is that team the lions suck and we should never lose to a terrible team like the lions that are one and six well hey fast forward we've proven and had the right to say we don't suck we've rattled off six of our last eight games to go eight and eight and now we win this game at lambeau And it does two things if we can win this game. Number one, and I'll get back to something else that he said as well. But number one, if we win this game, we either go to the playoffs or we don't go to the playoffs and we beat Aaron Rodgers and they don't go to the playoffs. And we win at Lambeau and we really turn the tide in what has been, you know, how many years? 14 years of him or yeah, him being there of us just kind of struggling. How many times, you know, even when Stafford was here, had a chance, beat the Packers at home for the division. We don't get it done. It would just feel like we're turning the page to this whole rebuild, this whole rebirth, Dan Campbell, new regime, just Brad Holmes. The whole thing would look so good. And then especially if James Houston's getting sacks and we win at Lambeau at night, final game of the NFL regular season. So it's just a huge game, regardless if we get into the playoffs or not because of just Aaron Rodgers being him, just being the guy that he is where you're just like, dude, you're great. Like we all get that, but you're also just annoying and we don't like you because we're lions fans and we don't like you. So here's what else he had to say. Uh, let's get to it here. He was asked, you know, as green Bay was making their run and they've won three, four games in a row. And, uh, Lisa Salter says, hey, you know, final three games could be tough. Everybody's above 500. And he's like, well, and of course he knows, right? One of those teams is 500 right now. He was talking about the Lions. Like, don't. <laughs> Just, and again, is this the worst thing in the possible world they could say about us? No, absolutely not. This is mild as can be. But for some reason, he, it's with him saying it, just drives you nuts. Just drives you nuts. Can't stand the guy. Respect him great player but i can't stand you because just the little things you say about the lions and i and i just drives me nuts that's why this game is so huge 
at Lambo. It's just it's just weird there, right? It's it's just a weird deal there. They the cheese on their heads and it's nighttime, it's cold. Who cares? This is a game where we can go and win. Remember, the last time we really had a, you know, team a little momentum going into Lambo was that Trey Flowers hands to the face. But his hand was right here and it gave him free 15 yards, free 15 yards, kick a field goal, they win. It's Lambo. It's weird. We don't like it. it. We don't like it. So this is an opportunity to go win there on the road and, again, go to the playoffs or stop them from going to the playoffs. So you got James Houston. You also got uh, Taylor Decker who came out and said, you know what, um, and I, I agree with this, he's probably the most talented quarterback to ever play the game. You know, maybe not the most, but if not the top three, five, right? I mean, he's just he's, he's good. He said, I hope the game gets flexed, which it did. I hope that game is Sunday night and I hope we have a big challenge and I hope it's a four quarter game. And I hope that's what it is because what else do you want? I mean, we've been putting in the work. We've started having some success recently and all you can ask for is the opportunity and what, and that would be a hell of an opportunity. That's the best way to say it. Just love the opportunity. Love as Lions fans. The last game of the year is a meaningful game. I've been saying that for Basically, since I for 10 years, just get me to Thanksgiving with a meaningful games in Thanksgiving. We did that. Oh, Thanksgiving. Okay. Bills, right? Just here we go. Now it's the last game of the year and it matters. We could be two and 15 or whatever. We could be three wins. We could be talking about, you know, golf. Is he going to get benched? Is Dan Campbell going back? Instead, no, we're locked in. You've got your veteran players ready to go. Taylor Decker, you've got James Houston ready to go. It's last game, the la- literal last game of the regular season, Sunday night football. We're locked in, ready for the opportunity. And as Lions fans, if we lose this, if we don't make the playoffs, we will not see another Lions game for nine months. So you just watch every second of it, the good, the bad, just hang right in there. I'm a big, like, I like to record the game, so I'm, I'm kind of sometimes fast forward and I rewind. Just this game, I got to tell myself, just watch it, enjoy it. Just take it all in and look for those big plays. Jamison Williams, expect a big play. Swift all of a sudden looks healthy. Here we go. Defensively, you don't know what you know team's going to show up defensively, but if we can just have our defense play average, we're going to we're going to be okay because our offense can get up and down the field. The weather looks fine. It's nothing crazy. No big time snow. No super cold. Let's go. Right, it's an opportunity we're looking for. Let's go. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Packers, Lions, Sunday night. Let's do this.